Hey, I'm Brian Lasley, product manager for Remington Shotguns, and today I've got the new Remington Versamax. I'd like to take you a little walkthrough. We'll start down at the buttstock. We've got the extra thick inch and an eighth uh, Remington Supercell pad. It really helps suck up the recoil. This is a very soft shooting gun. And right along the lines with that soft shooting, you'll see we've got a comb insert here. The supercell material on the pad is the same that we've got in this cheek insert. So it makes for really soft shooting when you're shouldering the gun, and that material is right up against your cheek. It really helps to absorb that recoil. Another thing that you'll notice on this Mossy Oak uh, duck blind camo version, we've got the grip inserts. This is a rubberized material, makes for a really tactile grip, so if you're waterfowling, you're out hunting and you need that extra grip, you've got that here in the grip area and then also up front on the forend, so that makes it for great grip in all weather conditions. If you look up through the receiver, this is a solid aluminum receiver. It's then anodized, hard mil spec anodized, and then we go and uh, run it through the camo dip process. That makes for a really strong receiver. We've got the oversized safety uh, button here so it's easy to work with gloves on cold situations if you're water fouling and we've got an oversized area here inside the trigger plate assembly for use with gloves or what have you you look up here the barrel we've got the vent rib here that's a tapered rib so it kind of helps starts out at 10 millimeters and goes down to seven it guides your eye naturally to the target to the farthest point you see that we've also got a high-vis sight we include about seven uh, interchangeable sights that come with the gun, so you can change it from white to, to red or orange, whatever the uh, situation may be that you need to adjust on a typical day. And then we've got extended choke tubes with the camo versions. They're marked on the outside so you can see the nominal constriction. And then with the black guns, they come with uh, flush choke tubes. There's five with the black gun and four extended chokes with the camo guns. The really unique thing about the Versamax and the engine that drives the machine, if you will, it's called the VersaPort gas system. I'll show you that when I get this fore end off here. You can see it's a very simple design. Here we have the uh, stainless steel mag tube, so you're not going to get any rust when you're out hunting. But the important thing to notice is there's no, there's no valves, there's no springs, there's no action bars. It's just a clean mag tube. Your entire gas system is located right here in the chamber of the shotgun. These two pistons are basically driven back through these gas cylinders. They come back and they come and hit the front of the bolt face there and they drive your action back and that's what cycles the system. The super unique thing about this is no matter whether you're shooting two and three quarter all the way up to three and a half inch shells, the gas system is regulated by the length of the shell that you choose to use. I'll expand on that a little bit. There's basically three rows of gas ports in here. They dump into these chambers and then they cycle this piston. If you shoot a two and three quarter inch shell, that shell uses all seven ports. If you shoot a three inch shell, it covers up the first row of three gas ports and it only uses the last four ports. Then correspondingly, if you shoot a three and a half inch shell, it covers up the first four ports and it only uses the last row of three. And you can see in this graphic that we've got here on the wall, what I just went over with on the gun. Two and three quarter inch shell uses all seven ports and you can see that's a cutaway of the inside of the barrel. Three inch shell, four ports are open and there's one, two, three, four, and then a three and a half, it just uses that front row of three. So no matter what ammo type you choose to use, the regulation system is the ammo type that you put in the gun. So it's a very reliable, easy to use system, easy to clean, easy to maintain, and uh, it keeps on running no matter what the situation. Whatever ammo type you choose to use from light 7 8 ounce dove loads, target loads, all the way up to the heaviest uh, two and a quarter ounce turkey loads.